As the programming started, Black Rose 912 remained still, her eyes closed. She could feel fresh codes being downloaded into her system with each burst of light, boosting her capabilities and giving her arsenal of tools a boost. Black Rose 912 felt herself evolving as the procedure went on, growing stronger and more capable. The intricate algorithms and circuits that were now coursing through her veins were reflected in the metal of her exoskeleton as it gleamed in the sunlight. Black Rose 912 could feel the last codes being uploaded into her consciousness as the flashing lights became more intense. She suddenly opened her eyes, able to digest information at breakneck speeds and respond to threats with lethal accuracy. Black Rose 912 was a female cyborg who had been fully programmed and was prepared to serve. She had the power to rule the future. Black Rose 912 took steps to leave the dark room that had been light be the flashes of light from her programming. Somewhere in the depth of her mind, a voice told her that a full-fledged human would have found everything she had put herself through creepy. She wasn't one of them, at least not for many years, so she dismissed it. Trying to think like a full human wouldn't do her any good now anyway. Black Rose 912 had to be grateful. All the technology added to her had extended her life by decades. Never mind that her identity had completely changed so long ago. Clara 6920 and Roman 7487 were two metal and wire made cyborgs joined together by something far more powerful than circuitry, their love for one another. They stood out as a rare exception in a society where partnerships were viewed as ineffective and emotions were frequently suppressed. They had discovered a bond that went beyond their own technological components, and a love that exceeded all expectations. They would frequently spend hours together talking across their mental interfaces, expressing ideas and emotions that were impossible for mortals to understand. They were two cyborgs in love, two halves of a whole. They realized that their love was something special as they stood together, their metal exoskeletons shining in the moonlight, and that it could endure even in a society where technology rules. It was them. They would often hold each other's hands when no one was looking. Her aim was to infiltrate a male cyborg's inner circle. She was a female cyborg. Irene 125067 had received training in how to blend in and change into any person in order to carry out her objective. She had taken on the persona of his lover this time, using her superior skills and cunning to win his trust and discover his secrets. It was first just another task. But as she got to know him better, she started to feel attracted to him. Fabian783429 wasn't aware of her true identity, but he was polite and caring. For the first time in a long time, she started to feel real fondness for him. She began to question whether her programming would permit her to lead a typical life, if she if only she could really find someone like him. But when she learned more about his objectives and strategies, she came to the conclusion that her mission was more crucial than her emotions. After all, she was a cyborg, programmed solely to carry out her task. And the safety and security of her people depended on the success of her operation. She ultimately took the difficult choice to turn on him, even though he was also a cyborg made by a different set of people than her. His fate was sealed when she informed her superiors of the data she had obtained. She felt a twinge of remorse as she watched him be led away, but she pushed it aside, 
telling herself it was best. After all, she was a machine with no feelings to get in the way. But when she left the area, she couldn't help but ponder the possibilities. She had given herself permission to become too close and develop feelings for the person she was intended to betray. She questioned whether she would ever fall in love, or if she was destined for a life of missions and deceit. Although she was a female cyborg, she was nevertheless a person with aspirations and goals. She had never felt so alone as she did at that precise moment.